Hello, my name is Khadija Lawrence, and this is my project with Shaquille Lawrence on the Portugal climate change. Portugal is located in southwestern Europe, with Spain being located to the east of it, and the Atlantic Ocean being located to the west of it. It is located within the Iberian Peninsula, which is made up by Spain and Portugal. The largest city and capital is Lisbon. The three main regions are mainland Portugal, the Azores Islands, and the Madeira Islands. The Portuguese government is a republic. It is headed by Prime Minister Antonio Costa, who appoints and presides over the Council of Ministers. The Council of Ministers is the executive branch of the government. It is the President of the Republic, Marcelo Rebelo de Sousa, who is the Chief of Staff. The Parliament is a branch that serves as the representatives for the citizens. Portugal is rich in culture and society. They have 10 million people that inhabit Portugal and they have a lot of tourists due to the amount of pictures that they have all year. And in fact, tourism is Portugal's largest export. One is a huge part of Portuguese culture and family and Catholic church play a big role in their culture. The picture that is shown on this slide, it's actually just a traditional folk dance. In Portugal, they have many like folk dances, and it's usually seen in um, the royal rural areas of the country and like the farming communities. And now we're going to start talking about the climate of Portugal. Mainland Portugal has a different climate than the islands. In mainland Portugal, the summers are dry and hot, while the winters are cooler and mild milder. And on the islands of Azores and Madeira, the temperatures are usually milder all year long due to the influence of the Gulf Stream. The picture that I have shown it actually demonstrates like all the different kinds of like geological rocks that you could find on the mainland versus the actual islands. As you can see on the mainland, the different types of rocks do vary quite a lot. And on the islands, they tend to be very similar. And this is a picture that is depicting the different changes from um, the plant from Portugal becoming more arid as climate continues to change. The picture on the left it depicts how arid it was in the 1960s to the 1990s, and as we move forward. On the right, we see a picture that depicts how susceptible it is to desertification now. It's becoming more arid, and that is due to climate change. Uh, the picture on the left in this slide, it shows all the different zones for the climates. As you can see, um, the zones do tend to vary as you go north with lots of varying pockets throughout the um the actual country. And this does tend to correspond with the average air temperature. So the different climate zones do correspond with the air temperature. In the south, you can see that it's a lot more warm, and those are different climate pockets. And up north, you also have the, the clumping of the climates on the left, and you can see that they correspond with a cooler temperature. And this is a picture of the Portuguese forest fires. This is a, a big issue that happened this year. There was a huge fire that killed about 2,000 people. And this forest fire could possibly be due to the fact of um, due to climate change. With climate change, there is an increase in forest fires. And when there are really hot and dry summers, that can lead to fires happening whenever like lightning starts to strike. And on the left, you can see that there is a difference between the winter mean temperature and the summer mean temperature. As mentioned before, at least on the mainland, the climate is a lot more dry and hot in the summer, and then the winter it's a lot more cool. And that's the end of me talking about the climate in Portugal. And these are my works cited. I hope you enjoyed this presentation.